hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial today today we have different tutorial uh, on how to identify the water producing areas throughout the reservoir we will use uh, in this example the available uh, workspace it's uh, demo database located in uh, OFM you can find it in drive C number share folder in program file and you can find sample workspaces now we can use this one for uh, symbols okay double click on the project you can find it read only but if you move it to any other drive you can play with it doesn't matter okay let's start uh, this project that we have uh, a lot of wells and uh, reservoir we have 231 completions uh, included in 97 well pour with 72 reservoirs we are dealing with a well pour by the way not all of this data has uh, uh, the production profile or production data just go through to see what is uh, available uh, production data now we can focus on monthly production table if you click uh, on this table not all of, uh, of this will has uh, a production here but we can deal with available one okay uh, we unfortunately we don't have in this uh, demo data the queue production we have the raw data only but we can create this function let's go for setup schema uh, schema variable editor okay add calculated variable system function and let's use this function which is qm input qm input double click here and point out to the table or uh, a qm oil production now let's write uh, the place of this data which is monthly broad dot oil And okay, let's name it Q oil. Q underscore sorry. Oil. Okay, same thing with Q uh, water system function again, Q input. And point to the location of uh, the data inside the, the database then click OK and name this new function as Q underscore water OK we are going to make uh, uh, the final project. Uh, product is um, uh, by chart showing oil, water, and uh, percentage for each. Uh, the variable is uh, radius uh, or the by radius. Okay. The final function is to add uh, cube gross for both fluid. Cube fluid. Let's start. Where is QM oil? Yes, this one. QM oil double click plus Q water. Then click OK. 
end it will ask you to name this new function let's say cube gross then click ok and ok again now go to uh, to how to create bubble point bubble uh, bubble map to variable pie chart with radius control okay and point out to cube oil and to the chart Q motor and finally Q gross next uh, the software will ask you which group you want to this data to be belong to for the time being as we mentioned in, in the beginning of this tutorial is well born next uh, by default we use the last data because this one is uh, variable uh, variable gross production was time but uh, the final product is uh, end of this data. Then click finish. Okay. Now we have cube oil in green uh, color and uh, cube water uh, in red. Actually, it's not standard. You can change from here properties. Cube oil leave the oil as it is and cube water change it to red. Uh, from this one C chart uh, or this example, it noticed that uh, the oil is coming from the middle of the reservoir, which indicating the water is edge aquifer. This one is edge aquifer. You can play with these properties here. Zoom in or out from here. Yeah. Zoom in. Whatever. Zoom to fit zoom area. If you need to focus on a specific area, you can move the drag and drop the mouse here and so on. Let's reset again. Now we can play with this animation to see where is the water starting to reduce. Yes. This one is backward. Okay. If you want to start from the beginning. Yes. Yes, uh, looks like this uh, this reservoir or field producing from 1959, and you can move. Uh, yes, you can see here the first oil production uh, coming from this well, which is RR. Once you click. Uh, this one play play and uh, yeah initially the the reservoir is producing pure oil but with time you can see more water is coming on stream now you can export this one uh, as a movie if you want uh, and select uh, which start and end of time if you want to play with this uh, setting and save animation as avi file you can put it in any fantastic presentation thank you for watching